What's going on today? Big packages. This is an 8.2 by a 6.2 outdoor galvanized metal shed. Comes from Dami Direct. This thing is absolutely awesome. This comes in two packages. So you're gonna get one box like this that is 75 pounds and you're gonna get another box with all the panels that is 100 pounds. So if you can't lift that weight, make sure you have someone able to help you move this stuff around. Of course, you're gonna need more than one person to put this together just for holding panels and everything. I'm gonna get these boxes outside, get everything open up, and we will start going through the parts to assemble this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get the 75 pound box open first. I do believe this is the box that's gonna have all of the framing and hardware in it. The 100 pound box, I think, is just the panels and probably the roofing. So we will get this open. And I can tell you right off the top, every single piece is going to have a protective film on it. So it's gonna look really, really nice. Bag of hardware, a Phillips screwdriver. Looks like some anchor pens also. The assembly manual here. You've got the angle pieces for the roof, which is going to be what the roof mounts to. All kinds of uh, cardboard and foam wrapped pieces in here, making sure everything is packaged really nicely. So that is nice. You have all kinds of bracing in here. Bunch of different pieces of bracing. Very thick. Seems very nice. Uh, so far, I mean, I've just opened this thing up, but really nice quality. Everything seems to be really nice. Has that really nice Dami Outdoor branded centerpiece for the front and the back. It will be the structural support for the roof. They've included protective gloves for you to wear while you assemble this just to help uh, help prevent any kind of cuts, cuts or scrapes. Um, there's all kinds of pieces in here. So I would suggest that you this is the framing. I would suggest you go through, take everything out of the box, go to your assembly slash user manual, find the parts list, and confirm you have every single thing. Find that parts list in there, and uh, then you can start assembly. So that is exactly what I'm going to do got a nice key and lock assembly here so you're going to be able to lock the doors with a provided lock and two keys so that I absolutely love that so all the framing is in this box like I said you're going to get two packages for this shed this is the 8.2 by 6.2 I'm going to go through confirm I've got everything make sure my base is good to go and then I'll have the ground nice and leveled. I am gonna put this on a pallet wood subfloor that I'm gonna sit on top of concrete blocks and then I will have an OSB floor and then I'll put the shed on that so it will be nice and level. Make sure you level wherever you're gonna put this shed. You can certainly put this right down on the ground. Of course, the correct way to do it is going to be to get it up off the ground, but you can put this right down on the ground. Before you put this shed down, make sure you have a level area. If you want to do like I've done here, I just got some concrete blocks, leveled the ground, put them down, and I've got four pallets uh, for this particular shed, which is 
8.2 by 6.2. So everything is nice and level. I've got some OSB boards that are gonna go down for the flooring. I've got step pads all inside of there, everywhere. So everything is nice and solid. It's all level, ready to go ahead and start putting the base down for the shed. Now, once you have this frame together, you got these angle pieces that are gonna go up on the front side of the bottom frame. And then you're gonna start building the corner panels here and the corner panels here. Very, very easy. You just have your door frame and a corner piece and then you have each panel and you have a, some cross bracing on each side. All right, a quick tip to make assembly go a little bit quicker. You're gonna have these frame pieces for the interior, which go across the insides of the uh, wall panels. If you go ahead and put all those together first, it's gonna save you a lot of time. And I have found that it's much easier to go ahead and put a full wall together with the frame pieces on the bottom and then stand it up and screw everything together. So you can do the back wall and both side walls and have those completely ready. That way, when you go to put this together, assembly is gonna be much quicker and much easier because you're not gonna have as many pieces trying to hold them together while they kind of flop around on you. So that will make assembly a thousand times easier. All right, once you have all of your side panels up, everything secure in the middle with the bracing and on the bottom, then you are free to go ahead and start putting the top frame on. You do wanna make sure you have at least two people when you're assembling this. Uh, it's a little bit more than what one person can handle. Make for sure you're 100% level and it's gonna make it a lot easier. So once you get all this done, you're free to do the top frame. I just wanna stress how easy it is to put this shed together. And once you get the bottom frame and those side panels on, you have this top frame, which is really nice because it goes over the panels like that. A lot of these sheds, it'll go on the inside or the outside. This actually goes over it. So structurally, it's more sound. Uh, definitely stable and super durable. Lots and lots of hardware. So everything is secured really, really nicely. Uh, you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and take this protective film down from any hardware uh, or any connection points. That way when you go to peel it off, you won't have anything obstructing it. Same thing on the bottom. Lots of hardware to go in there, keeping everything nice and secure. I've only got the walls, the bottom and the top frame done and it has been outside here going on two days now. We've had rain, some pretty good winds come through here. I don't have the top or the doors on here and this thing has not moved and it's not bolted to the ground. So definitely durable. Framing is really nice on the inside. Plenty of connection points. really really solid shed so far a lot of steps a lot of hardware i would say out of a zero to ten as far as capability it really just depends on your skill level i mean if you're not crafty with tools or anything at all i would say it's probably an eight or a nine if you are constantly building things and using tools a lot i mean this is like a two it's really easy to do like I say, it's just, if you don't really put things together or have any kind of knowledge of that, it's going to be an eight or a nine just because of all of the hardware and all of the pieces. But it's really, really easy and the directions are really nice. Very easy to follow the directions. Now for this top frame, I'm going through and I am assembling all the frame pieces. 
Simple directions, just follow the steps. Everything goes together very easily. Again, it's just a lot of hardware, but all of that hardware is what's making this support so strong. So on your angle pieces with the vent, I'm just gonna put those together with the two braces that go there and then keep moving forward. Very, very easy, very detailed. You can see the detailed directions and instructions. The whole manual is like this. It's very easy to read and very detailed. Now, once you have all this top framing on here, you got your three beams across here. Everything is very, very structurally sound. We have some pretty high winds coming today. And this has been out here in some pretty good winds already, just as it sits. And it hasn't moved the location I've had it in. So without even the doors, the door frame, and the roof being on there, it's already holding up really, really good. The quality seems to be really, really nice. I would definitely challenge this next to anything at those big box stores and you know the ones I'm talking about. I even drove up there, got out and banged around on them, kind of whittled them around, the ones they have out on display, the metal ones, and they are not as good as this. So you're definitely getting a big bang for your buck, much better quality. Um, these even look better. Uh, the ones up there, they have those sliding doors I really can't stand those sliding door sheds. This has the swing doors, which are much better. They hold up much, much better than the sliding door type. And these all around, they just look better. You get this shipped right to your door for a very, very affordable price. Very easy to put together. You just have to be aware that there is a lot hardware for these but that is what makes it so sturdy is having all the hardware and all of the support pieces the directions are incredibly easy to follow you need to pay attention to the washer situation you have flat metal washers and you have thick plastic washers make sure when you put this together that you're paying attention to that or else you can really get confused when you run out of washers possibly. You gotta use the thick plastic washers in the areas that it says and it shows you on the directions right where the thick ones go. You can look at the picture and it'll show you a picture of each washer. So pay attention to that and you won't have any issues. So once we have this done, you can start doing the frame on the outer roof portion and then we'll start putting the roof on. You can build the door right now if you want. I'm just following the directions for the roof part. Okay, I do wanna mention something here on the roof. Starting at the back, you've got panel K4, K2, and then K3. The way the direction shows it on the seam, you should have K4 over K2, and then uh, K2 over K3, which you should have K2 over K3 because you have this screw right here to help hold down the seam. But over here, for the first panel K4 to K2, you need to have K2 over K4 because K4 doesn't have a, a lockdown point here. So if you don't put K2 over K4, it's going to be loose at the seam right there. So this one is going to help it. And then in the center here, where you put these screws in, it shows on the directions, just like you have here across the ridge, uh, you have these gaskets with the screw that go in them. It calls on the directions for the exact same thing right here, but that is gonna dent the roof in there quite a bit if you do that. It calls for a different screw than the one up here, but it calls for the same gasket and it calls for it to go on top, which is not how I'm doing it. 
because it's gonna deform the roof. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that gasket like on the ridge and I'm putting it underneath on the inside of the roof panels with the screw on top with one of the plastic gaskets or plastic washers, they call them gaskets. And as you can see right there, I'm just using that piece on the inside to keep the roof from getting deformed. Works perfectly that way and you know, it's gonna keep everything looking nice. So I don't know if maybe the directions are misprinted showing the depiction. It shows that going on the outside, but that should be on the inside. Otherwise they need to tap these panels where they come in, but they don't there. It's on the part that has the space. So make sure you do that. And lastly, with the roof, when you get to the front, this panel is gonna be K1. You're gonna want K1 to tuck underneath this panel here, which is K2. You have a K1, K2, K3, K2, K4. So make sure K1 at the front by the door here and K4 on the end tuck underneath your k2 panels because this is the secure point and this is what's going to keep that panel down as you can see there's no spot here for the panel there so you're going to have to make sure you put those up there all right it's very very windy out here and this thing's holding up pretty good wasn't too bad putting the panels on Wind was kind of blowing a little bit, but they're not so large that you can't handle it. So that is very nice about this. So once I got the roof done, you get all that on and then you are free to go ahead and put the side trim pieces on here. It's three pieces total. You have the two frame pieces to look like the front and then you have a middle joiner piece. Then once you get done with that, you can go ahead and put your nice middle emblem on there, the nice decorative cover, which goes right there in the center. And then we'll start building the doors. Now, once you have your doors all built, they are very sturdy. Quite a bit of hardware goes on these also. Everything basically has a bunch of hardware. So I need to stress that you got to be ready to do a lot of hardware putting this shit together, but it's very sturdy once you have it together. So it's worth it. Now, you got the provided lock with the keys. You're gonna go ahead and put that on the door and then you are free to go ahead and mount the doors to the shed. So I'm gonna get the lock on there now. All right, once you get your first door on I went ahead and did the one with the sliding locks which will be on the left side if you're facing the shed and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the very last door on and take off all this protective sheeting that's on here I've already taken it off the roof and everything all of the uh, framing pieces and everything. I just left it here on the outside. That'll be the last step once I get the door on. Just have to rip off the protective film. And the best part is yet to come. I'm gonna be putting the floor in here. The hardware is really nice. Doors open and close nice and evenly. Everything lines up really good. You can see it. Almost no wiggle at all. Has some little adjustment washers so you can make that tighter or as loose as you need to make it snug. Everything looks really great. It's a really good looking shed. Very, very sturdy. Again, I just really need to stress lots and lots of hardware. So be prepared. Uh, you're not going to beat the 
value for the money at any of the big box stores. Guarantee that. But you are going to have a little bit more labor intensive project. So keep that in mind. And this is the finished product. It is all complete. It is extremely sturdy. Pretty nice shed. Absolutely love this thing. Do yourself a favor and build yourself a floor for this. If you really, really want to enjoy it, this is the way to go. You can sit it down on the ground, but it's much better having a nice solid floor in there. Doors open up nice and easy. Nice solid floor in here. Have these latches on the inside here. The top one is going to be very snug, but that keeps these doors from banging around. Anytime there's any kind of wind, Pretty nice inside. I am going to be building a ramp coming off of here. I do plan on parking my mower in here. It's time for the most satisfying part. Taking off all that protective film. And there you have it. This is the 8.2 by 6.2 galvanized steel storage shed. Very, very nice quality. I give this a 10 out of 10 as far as galvanized steel storage sheds go. Definitely recommend this to anybody who is in the market for one of these. Like I said, I put this next to anything you can get at the big box stores. It's a little bit lengthy on the assembly, but just know that once you're done assembling, all of that hardware is what gives this storage shed its structural integrity. It's very, very nice. The color's very nice. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend this. Comes right to your door. You don't need to go anywhere. You can order this right on Amazon. The link will be in the description below comes right to your house you get one box 100 pounds the other box is 75 pounds it's a two package shed so you will get two boxes make sure you can handle that kind of weight make sure you have help to assemble this shed and you will be extremely satisfied once this thing is complete absolutely love it thanks for watching